Hi everyone, uh, Hauser here. Sorry, I'm kind of upset. My phone just gave out on me and I was recording a pretty cool video. Uh, what if Deku was a villain? Izuku is born. He's four months, he's four weeks old, uh, not weeks, uh, four years old. And he's to the Quirk Doctor. Now, um, here's where she hits the fan and it's gonna be pretty dark. All Might bursts through the wall, accidentally, uh, killing Izuku's mother. And, uh, sending Izuku into a wall, um, hurting him pretty badly. And, um, All for One teleports in. Izuku's knocked out, so he doesn't see the fight. Um, All, Might, All for One teleports in because All Might found out that the Quirk Doctor that Izuku sees is All for One's, uh, personal doctor, you know? And, you know, he tells All for One when there's a Quirk that he might like to steal, and All Might found this out. And, but he accidentally killed All Might, uh, Izuku's mother. All for One defeats All Might way earlier on, giving him his injury, um, you know, and, uh, here we go, all for one walks over after the fight, his face is all scarred, and his eyes are gone, you know, but he's using a quirk he calls sonar, which allows him to see a 3D surrounding of what he can hear, and he hears a kid crying, so he walks over to Izuku with his eyes, like, closed and blood dripping down his face, and Izuku looks up and goes, what happened to you, and he goes, all might happen to me. What happened to you, young man? And he goes, All Might burst in, killing my mother. And he hurt me. My arm is uh, stuck under the rubble. And All For One goes, Let me help you. And he picks up the rubble. And he goes, Young man, come with me. And I can help you take vengeance for your mother. And, uh, you know, Izuku goes with him at age four. And Izuku's quirk. He does have a quirk on this. Um, but, uh, you know, he was quirkless. But All, All For One gave him a quirk. So All For One gave him this quirk. It's called Shadow, and it allows him to turn in the shadows and manipulate shadows, you know? And, uh, you know, he doesn't have to be in Shadow to use his quirk. I mean, it's it's stronger uh, the darker it is, but, you know, and the more shadow he has around him, but he can be Shadow himself, you know? It'd look a little suspicious why there's a gi giant dark shadow in the middle of nowhere with nothing causing the shadow, but he can do that. And he can bring people into his Shadow realm which is a realm he can teleport into and then teleport to any shadow he can see. But, uh, you know, I'll explain this stuff more on. But we're gonna skip to when Izuku is 14. Now, Izuku is known as the Reaper. Um, Izuku normally uses scythe, a uh, giant shadow scythe he uses to kill. Um, but he will use other weapons like daggers and stuff, you know. But, um, people call him the Reaper because of the scythe and how he, you know, is a black smoke. And, you know, his 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 villain costume is a lot like um, the one, his hero costume. So, you know, it's a black, it's an all-black suit. It's a black rounded mask with a face mask of a, ga it's a gas mask, basically. But it allows him to breathe and, and, like, underwater, or it's like a rebreather. It allows him to breathe underwater, breathe in gas. You know, it helps him all with that. He wears a, a pair of goggles that make his eyes bright red that allows him to see at night and stuff. And, you know, has x-ray vision and, you know, heat vision. So, not heat vision, like, uh, thermal vision, allowing him to see heat signatures. Um, and his mask has a bunch of sharp razor white teeth on them. And his eyes glow red when he has the goggles on. And he wears a hood over him and a big, long, like, uh, pretty much a cloak. And, you know, he looks like the Reaper. But he, he wears his suit from Canon, um, which is... With where where all the white, so everything is black except for all the white bits. The white bits are all red. You know he has red gloves, red uh, outlining his suit. You know, and he's really scary looking. You know, and right now where we are is we're following Izuku, who's on a mission from All for One. Now, uh, Shigaraki did get found by All for One when he was fourteen, so he's ten years older than uh, Izuku. So when Izuku's fourteen, he'll be twenty-four. Uh, but Izuku and Shigaraki see each other as brothers. You know, Shigaraki sees him as his little brother and literally would kill anyone for Izuku. And Izuku would do the same for uh, Shigaraki. But Shigaraki's complaining to All for One right now that uh, he sent Izuku out there alone, you know. And he shouldn't have. He should have at least sent someone. And All for, and All for One goes, I did. I sent Shigaraki. Or not Shigaraki. I sent um, Korigiri. And he goes, Ugh, whatever. You know, and gets pretty upset and disintegrates the table and, you know, throws shit around. Because, yeah, you know, his little brother's out there all by himself. And now Izuku's mission is to kill the new president of America. Um, right? And his name is Jonathan Kent. Uh, just a little nod for any uh, comic book readers out there for, of Superman. Um, 
And, uh, you know, he, uh, he, the reason he's, uh, all for one sent him is because, uh, Jonathan Kent's whole thing is that he's, uh, you know, sorry, I'm clicking on my computer. He's, um, he is, you know, his whole thing is that he wants to get, uh, a new law in that police officers are allowed to use their quirks in really dangerous situations so they can help heroes, you know, so they're not just there causing heroes to have to, you know, defend the police and them and the rest of the people to make heroes' jobs a little bit easier, you know? And he wants to pass that law, but if that law passes, it's going to be really hard for All for One to, you know, operate with uh, police who are allowed to use the quirks, you know? And, uh, you know, and uh, so the president's whole thing is he wants to make things easier for heroes, you know, he he's making new laws for heroes to have easier times at jobs, you know, allow them to use the quirks in any condition, you know, all that. So if he dies, that fight for uh, police officers to use the quirks and heroes to use the quirks more dies with him. So Izuku was sent to kill him. Now All Might's there because, uh, what to say, the president wanted to meet All Might and his daughter wanted to meet him too. And the president has a daughter. Her name is, uh, Kathy Clark, Kathy Kane, or not Kathy Kane, sorry, uh, Kathy, Kathy Kent. And, you know, she's a Kent. She's not from the comics at all. It's just a random thing I did. Mm, excuse me. Uh, here we go. Uh, Izuku, who is um, able to turn in the, uh, in the shadow, is flying his way through the sewer system right now. And he flies through the toilet up into the ceiling. And now he's a giant shadow on the ceiling when someone walks into the bathroom to go to the bathroom. And Izuku uh, floats around, um, but the man turns around, but uh, all he sees is nothing, because Izuku is following his shadow. And when the man turns around, his shadow glows red eyes and big white teeth. And um, all of a sudden, it cuts to a clip of the man hanging from the ceiling, dead with his neck snapped. Um, and Izuku is going through the hallway, and uh, Izuku is following someone who's walking... Uh, Little Miss Kathy Kent, I don't know, whatever, whatever I said her name was. He's following her and the security guard that's bringing her to meet All Might. And when she's like, I can't believe All Might's really here, you know? And she's like, we'll say she's like, she's like eight. She's like, I can't believe All Might's here. I'm the number one hero. And he's like, All Might's here. I can kill two birds with one stone, you know? And uh, when he gets through the door, um, he uh, sees... All Might and, like, four security guards plus the president. So there's five security guards plus All Might in the room with the president. So he has to kill the president first, and then he can worry about All Might because he knows his mission. So he flies over All Might's shoulder up into the ceiling. All Might turns around, and as he does that, Izuku's blade, his giant scythe, um, touches the uh, president's neck. When he turns around, he sees the blade cut the president's head clean off. And he looks up, seeing a dark shadow figure with a cloak on and a hood. And he goes, it's the Reaper! And all the security guards aim their guns at him, you know, and he disappears. And they're like, where'd he go? And, um, all for one's like, uh, all my, it's like, I didn't know he could teleport. And that's the thing, Zuku can teleport to any shadow he sees. So he teleported behind all for one, uh, all might's back. He's there, and he uh, has his scythe, and he slashes all might's back. A giant cut from one shoulder to the back of his uh, thigh. And, you know, All Might turns around to swing, but Izuku turns into the uh, shadow and his hand goes right through Izuku, who then um, uses his scythe to stab All Might in the ribs on where his injury was and uh, pulls the scythe out and gets ready to kill All Might with one blow to the head when all the security guards open fire and it hits Izuku in the shoulder because right now Izuku's um, turned back into human form because he has to use human form to use his scythe. And he goes to kill All Might. He gets shot in the shoulder, shot in the leg. And he's about to get shot in the head, but he turns back in the shadow, teleporting behind one of the security guards. And he uh, teleports away his uh, shadow dagger and tel uh, teleports the shadow dagger into his hand, stabbing one of the security guards through the spinal cord, ripping it, killing him. Teleporting behind another security guard, stabbing him in the neck. Teleporting on the ceiling, dropping down, killing two guards at one drop. And now there's one guard left and All Might. He throws two daggers at All Might, but the security guard jumps in front of them and uh, takes one to the forehead and one to the stomach, killing him. And then uh, All Might chases after Izuku, who swings his knife around the president's daughter, and All Might stops, you know? 
and Izuku's there, and he's he's bleeding out um, from his thigh and his shoulder. He only got shot twice, but he's really hurt. You know, and he's limping back, holding the dagger up against the uh, president's daughter's uh, you know throat. And the president's daughter turns around, punching him right in the groin, and he lets go. And All Might goes to punch him out the window through the president's bulletproof glass, cutting his back, leaving shards of glass in him. And uh, Izuku starts limping away, and All Might you know goes to attack him again. And right when he swings his fist, Izuku teleports away, thanks to Korogiri teleporting him out of there. And All Might falls to the ground, breaking a bunch of trees. And he goes, "No!" You know, and he's pretty upset. And when that happens, Izuku comes rolling into the bar, and um, Shigaraki turns around and goes, "What the hell happened?" And he goes, "Uh, I completed my mission." And he goes, "You killed the president?" And he's like, "Yep." And he goes, "Why are you so hurt then?" He goes, "That should have been an easy stealth mission for you." And he goes. All Might was there, and he goes, crap, why was he there? And he goes, no clue, but I managed to hurt him pretty bad. And he goes, okay, let's get you, sti- and let's get you stitch- uh, stitched up. And, uh, you know, uh, K- Kurogiri's stitching his leg, and Shigaraki's sitting there talking to Izuku, you know, distracting him from the pain of the bullets and stuff. And he hands him a thing of ibuprofen, and Izuku takes it, you know, sitting there, and he goes, all right, st- uh, talk me through it step by step. And he goes... The mission went pretty clean up to when I met a little girl. And he goes, so I went through the to- I went through the sewers just like I was planning on. When I got through a security walk, a security guard went through his be- on his break to go to the bathroom. I killed the security guard and teleported um, out the door and started following another security guard who was walking the president's daughter to meet All Might. When I heard that, I thought I could kill both of them, but I knew that I was supposed to kill the president first. And uh, Shigaraki goes, you idiot, you should have killed All Might first, and then you wouldn't have been as hurt as you are. And he goes, yeah, but then I might not have killed the president. And he goes, fair point. But still, next time, kill All Might first. And Izuku goes, okay, whatever. And he goes, alright, what happened next? And he goes, when I got into the room, I teleported up to the ceiling behind uh, All Might over his shoulder. And All Might turned around because he felt me touch his shoulder by accident. But then I cut the president's head off. He turned around recognizing me. Um, and uh, all the security guards aimed their guns at me. And there was five of them in the room. I teleported behind him. And I slashed his back. Then stabbed him in the stomach with my scythe. And I was about to kill him when one of the security guards opened fire on my shoulder. And the other one hit my leg. And I teleported behind the security guard. Killing all five of them. Uh, I cut one's head off. Uh, not one's head off. I cut one, uh, through the, I killed one through the spine, I killed another through the neck, stabbed two, you know, dropping down on top of them. I threw two daggers to kill All Might, but the security guard jumped in the way. And then I started feeling the pain of the bullet, so I grabbed my dagger, my shadow dagger, wrapping around the president's daughter's throat. Um, All Might stopped, and he goes, of course he did, he's, uh, scared to do anything when there's hostages in the, in, when involved. And he goes, that's the thing. The president's daughter hit me in the groin, giving All Might enough time to punch me through the window. And that's why I have all these shards of glass on my back. And he goes, fair point. Okay, so how'd you get away? And he goes, Kurogiri teleported me out of there. I didn't think I was going to make it. And he goes, thank you, Kurogiri. You know, and the Shigaraki bowing, bowing, and he goes, it's okay, master. You know, it's my job to protect you two. And he goes, whatever. And, um, you know, Izuku puts on his uh, uniform, his... Uh, tie and uh, his vest and you know he starts working at the bar and uh, we're gonna leave this 13 minute video off here so I uh, hope you enjoy Hauser signing out I'm having a good day I hope you are too I hope you are staying safe and I hope you enjoyed <laughs>